As of the third quarter of 2023, consumers in the United States owed about $17.1 trillion in total debt. Yes, that includes you too. The average US adult is $58,604 in debt. It could be any kind of debt, such as student loan, mortgage, credit card, auto, etc. 77% of US household has at least some type of debt. Take student loans for example. Student loans alone accounts for $1.57 trillion current, with each borrower owing an average of $38,792 as of summer 2021. Now, among these borrowers, the age group of 18 to 29 years collectively owe about $333 billion. But 2% of these borrowers are over the age of 70 years, still owing about $27 billion collectively for their student loans or someone else's. Yes, you heard that right. Some 70 years old are still paying for their college tuition. So in this video, I will go over 13 fastest way to pay off your debt so you can enjoy your 70s as opposed to worrying about your monthly loan payment. By the end of the video, you will have actionable steps that you can take right now to start lowering your debt. Have a plan in place. First things first, always remember the debt-free payment needs proper planning. So take a pen and paper and jot down all your debts and expenses. You will be half done after you have complete knowledge of what you owe and how much you earn. This will also help you to budget your expenses accordingly. Done with the planning part, let's get to the real business. Pay a little extra than the minimum payment. The most basic trick is don't just pay the minimum payment. Pay more, maybe a little more if you can. Say no to parties for a couple months and save up the cash. I know you can do that. And no, don't use the savings to buy a PS5 that you've been wanting to get. Rather, add it to your monthly loan repayment. This will help you bring down the interest on your loan payment and you will also be done with the repayment before the due date. However, don't forget to check the terms of the loan before making that extra payment because some lenders penalize early payoffs. But that's not all. The next trick is going to help you even more in clearing your debt. Focus on paying expensive debts first. The best tactic to get out of the swamp of debt is to get done with the most expensive debt first. I mean, why allow the lender to keep taking a huge sum of your money out of your pocket every month? Remember the extra cash that we saved with the last trick? Put that cash into paying off the expensive debt first. This strategy will help you pay off your debts quickly because as soon as you're done with your expensive debt, the remaining debt will feel like a walk in the park. Smart, right? And speaking of smart, I'm my name is Streamers. I'm a real time diversified investor and you are here for your dose of entertainment. One debt at a time. Now, in addition to the previous method, this is a great technique too. Go with the one debt at a time policy. But what does it mean? It means that instead of trying to pay off all your debt simultaneously, you target one debt at a time. After that debt is paid, then you can focus on to shift on the next one and so on and so forth. It will make things simple and keep you motivated to pay off your debts. Throw away your credit cards. Trust me, this method works. Credit cards are a bigger trap than you think. Once you start using your credit card, you end up spending more on things you never spend money on in the first place. So when you stop taking money out of your credit card, you are basically stopping the debt from growing. This also helps you get a good credit score because you're not adding the balance and you're improving your credit utilization. But don't actually throw out your card literally. I mean, like I said, someone might take your card and rack up the charges. That was for dramatic purposes. And no, if your card don't have any annual fee, don't close it. Keeping some line of credit open it's not a bad idea and one thing that is not a bad idea is having some extra cash find a side hustle who doesn't want some extra cash get yourself a part-time job or have more than one income stream to, to make the debt payment easy having multiple income streams will put you in a very good position financially not only will this help you with the debt payment but it will also increase your savings the good thing is there are a lot of online jobs available these days and you can actually make some good money and one thing that will make this video some extra youtube brownie points is your support like this video if you're finding value in it delete your card information from shopping websites it is hard to resist the temptation to get your favorite clothes or shoes well when all you need is just to press the buy button on your favorite website especially if your address and credit card information are on already stored on the website server. The best way to stop yourself from spending unnecessarily on online shopping is by removing your card details from these websites. So the next time your heart tempts you to order something then, and your mind tells you to stop, you can actually do it. This is a great way to save money for the debt thing. Install a debt tracking app in your phone. We all love to spend time on our smartphone, right? Then what's the better way to track your debt payment other than your phone? Install a debt tracking app to help you stay ahead of your debt repayment. Apps like Debt Payoff Planner have highly interactive user interfaces that helps users budget their spending, organize and plan their debt payments and keep track of the progress. It's a great way to keep track of everything related to your debt payment. Consult a credit counselor. Sometimes we feel that we're putting a huge sum into paying our debt 
but it's not progressing at the pace we want it to. If you're one of those people who struggle with managing their debt payments, then a credit counselor will be the right person to take some advice from. A good counselor will help you figure out the best plan suited for your debt payment. Save up. We don't need to spend hundreds of dollars on grocery items that go on sale once or twice every month. Strategize your grocery shopping and try to buy items when they're on sale. This will save you a lot of money. Also, don't make frequent trips to the supermarket because there are a chance that you'll end up buying something every time you step foot into the grocery store. Instead, make a list of all the groceries that you will need for the next 30 days and make one single trip to the grocery store. And one important thing, don't go to the superstore when you're away. You will both save money and time this way. If you already have a unique saving method that you follow, let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel while you're down there. Don't take new loans. Do not make this mistake. A lot of people think that the best way to pay off debt is by taking a new loan. It's a big no-no option, unless the new loan that you're taking is at a lower interest rate. A new loan will put you under extra pressure every month on your debt repayment. Therefore, don't even think about it. Always remember that it's better to decrease the number of debts than to add more and more to the list. He just one car. You might be wondering what does car have to do with your debt payment? Well, it has a lot to do with it. It is estimated that on average, $9,000 per year is spent by the owner to operate a V. So if you have two or three cars at home, you can save a lot by selling even one of them. This is a great way to cut back on your expenses and pay off your debt. Don't go back to bad money habits. The last and probably one of the most most underrated points is stopping yourself from getting trapped by the bad money habits again. It's easy to reach a goal, but it's difficult to stay there consistently. Bring consistency to your good money habits. Don't let your temptations make you go back to the habits that put you in debt in the first place. If you have already stopped spending on unnecessary items, then keep it that way. Only then you'll be able to pay off your debts quickly and lead a debt-free life afterwards. Even if you follow everything from this list, there's one thing that can increase your debt and it's not even in your control and that's inflation how you should watch it on this video if you haven't already like and subscribe see you in this video